Hello everyone and welcome. In this video, I'll be showing you how to create this landing page with an opt-in form without spending any extra money on lead generation plugins. So if you've purchased Divi or Extra, this plugin called Bloom is already in your membership and you can download it for free. So I'm going to show you step by step how you can create a landing page which then connects to your email autoresponder service and start generating leads. Okay, so before we get started, if you'd like to learn how to design websites using Divi, I have a course which has a huge discount. All the information for that is in the show notes below. And also, this discount has a limited time, so don't waste time. Just go ahead and sign up for that course. And also, if you're brand new to designing websites and you'd like to learn how to design websites using WordPress, I have a free course that I'm giving away. It's absolutely free. All that information, again, is in the show notes below. All right, so let's dive in and let me show you how I managed to create this landing page and the opt-in form. Okay, I'm here in my WordPress admin dashboard. So the first thing I'm going to do is to create a brand new page. So I'm going to come over here to pages, click on add new. Now we can call this page anything that we want. So I'm just going to call this summer promo. So I'm going to type in here, summer promo. So that's going to be the title for our page. I'm going to go ahead now and click on use the Divi Builder and go straight into the visual builder. So the first thing I'm gonna do here is to add a background image to our section. So I'm gonna come over here to my gear icon, click on it, click on background, and then I'm gonna add my background image. So I'm gonna come over here on the third tab, click the plus button to add our image. Now my image is already in the media library, so if you'd like to uh, add your image to your section, you'd need to go into, you'd need to upload it into your media library. So I'm going to come over here and click on my image like that. Click upload an image. So now our image has been applied to the background, but this is not how we want it to look. So uh, the next option here is to come to the background image position. And then let's make sure that it's top center. So at least we can see the face. Right. So the next thing we're going to do here is to come to the second tab because we need to add a gradient effect. So we're going to come over here, add our first color, and our first color is going to be black, like that, and our second color is going to be white. Now you'll see in a minute why I am doing this. And then here on the end position, we're going to drag this to the bottom to about, say, 58%. Right, so for now, I'm going to go ahead and save. Because when we start adding all our information in here, this is where you get to see all the effects that I was trying to add. So next, I'm going to come over here and add my column structure. So I'm going to click this plus button here, add a single column. And this is going to be a text module. So I'm going to search for it and add my text module. So this is where we get to add our title. So we can say summer sale now on, like that. So now we need to customize uh, this text. So let's come over here to design. And we can see here it's very it's very small and ideally we want to make this visible on our dark background. So let's come over here to text. So our text font, uh, let's choose later for this. And for our weight, we're going to go for light. And we're going to make it all caps. And for the text color, we're going to make it a light gray like that. And then we're going to bump up the size. So I think 70 would work. Okay, so that's looking good. Next, we're going to center it. Right, so for now, I'm going to go ahead and save. So here we can see that our background image is not really showing. So what we need to do is to come over here to our row settings and add some margins. So I'm going to come over here to design, click on spacing. And for the margin top, I'm going to start by adding say 500 just to see how much of that can be revealed and then for the bottom I'm going to add 100 like that yeah that looks fine I'm pretty happy with that but if you're not happy with that you can always come over here and make your adjustments maybe make it 600 to make sh uh, to show more of the image all right so for now I'm just going to leave it at 600 now it's time to go and customize our background to make sure that the bottom part here is a bit dark so that our text here is easier to read. So I'm going to save this for now and go back into my background uh, sections, I mean, to my section settings. So I'm going to click the gear icon, click on background. So what I'm going to do here is to come to my background image blend, click on multiply. 
Right, so we can see here that our multiply has been added to the top of the image, and this is not what we want. So let's go back to the second tab, our, our linear gradient, and let's reverse the direction. So we're going to just drag it, and now, because I drag it all the way back here to one degree, it's now being applied to the bottom of the image. And now you can see that this looks way much better. So it's all about making your um, text visible and making it easier for your visitors to read. Okay, so I'm pretty happy with that. So I'm going to go ahead now and save. Now it's time to add our second section. So I'm going to come over here, click the plus button, and this is going to be a regular section and uh, single row. So let's add our text module in here, like that. Right, so I'm going to paste my text in here, and my text here that I'm using is just from Lorem Ipsum. So I just copied the text here and pasted it in this content area, like that. So the one thing I'm also going to do here is to add a title. So what I'm going to do is to add some uh, HTML tags. So my tag for a header is like that, H1 for my header one, and then I'm going to put my opening tag like that, and then I'm going to put a capital letter C. Okay, so that's looking good. And then next, what I need to do is now to customize all this text and make it look the way I want it to look. So I'm going to come over here to design, click on text. So for our default font, I'm going to set this to Leto. Then our text size, we're going to increase that to about, uh, let's say, 20. Our text color, I'm going to leave this as it is for now. And then I'm just going to go ahead now and center it. So as I'm looking at this, I can see that my lines are way too close together on my paragraph. So I'm going to come over here to line height and increase that just a little bit. So 1.8 could do. Right, so that's much better. Right, so the next thing I'm going to do, now if you recall... In fact, let me go back here so I can show you. If you recall here, we added this H1 for the title, okay? So in the new update, we can now come directly to the header text and customize it. So here we can make it all caps, and you can see as I'm, as I'm making the changes here, this is being updated straight away here on my visual editor. So the line height, I'm going to increase that a little bit to about, say, 1.6 just to give that heading some breathing space with the text below it. Okay, so that's looking fine. I'm going to come over here to my header font weight. Uh, I think it's fine, but you can always come here and make it bold if you want. And um, you can also adjust the, the size. But here, we're not trying to make this header clash with what we have here on the main hero image. So let's leave it at 30. And then I'm going to come over here to my header letting spacing, and I'm going to increase that to about, say, four. Okay, so that's looking good so far. Now, what you also need to do is to make sure that uh, this design looks pretty much consistent on other mobile devices. So I'm going to come over here to my heading text size, click on this little icon, come over here to my smartphone just to see if everything is looking okay. So I can see here that that's fine. And on my tablet, that's also fine. But um, for my normal text, I can see that that's way too big. So I'd like to reduce that a little bit. So I'm going to come over here to my text size, click this little icon. Uh, especially for the smartphone, this text is way too big. So I'm going to I'm going to adjust that, make it a bit sm uh, slightly smaller, maybe 14. Yep, on the tablet. I think 20 is fine for that. Okay, so I'm pretty much happy with that. And finally, what we're going to do is to uh, add a custom size to our text module. So I'm going to come over here to sizing. And then for my width, I can decrease that to anything that looks pretty much pleasing for me. So I'm going to bring it down to about 80% and center it. Okay, so already that, that's looking nice. So let me just double check and make sure that this is looking fine on all devices as well. Okay, so that's fine on the tablet and it's also fine on the smartphone. Okay, so that's looking good. Now it's time to add our opt-in form. So for our opt-in form, in fact, let me save this for now. We need to first create this opt-in form. So I'm going to come over here to opt-in forms. And um, in fact, before I start talking about Bloom, the plugin, this comes in with your membership, so you need to go into Elegant Themes and download 
the plugin and install it. So once you install it and activate it, you'll have this entry here, which is called Bloom. So now it's time to add your opt-in forms. So all you have to do is to come over here to the top right, click on opt-in form, and this is where you get to choose which form you'd like to add. So the one I'm using here is the inline. So all you have to do is to click on that, give it a name. So let's just call this summer. So here's the, one of the most important parts. So in order for you to capture your leads, you need to be subscribed to an autoresponder provider. So there's a lot of, uh, there's quite a few of these. So if I come over here to select one, you can see we have ActiveCampaign, Aweber, ConvertKit, and so on. So the one I use is ConvertKit. So I've already set this up. So if I click on it, you can see here it's asking me to select the account. And here is my account here. And then I can go ahead and select my email list which I have quite a few in here. So let's say, okay, Div University Live, and then all I have to do is to click on Save, or you can go to your next option, and this is where you get to design. Now, I'm not gonna go through all this because this is quite uh, straightforward. So what I'm gonna do is to go back to my opt-in forms and show you the changes that I did to this form that I've already created. So all I have to do now is to come over here to my settings, click on design. So here, I've, all I've done is I've added this text on the opt-in message and the text is sign up below and get 20% discount for all your purchases, okay? So here on the image settings, there's no images, so you don't need to add anything on there. The styling options, all I, all I did was add a background color of white. And then for the form setup, I just made sure that the form is on the, uh, the, form is on the bottom and we have the name, email, and sign up, okay? And then finally, all I did here was to select my button color, which you can select by just clicking this little area here, and also the form background color. So you can play, play around with these colors to match your branding. So one other thing that you could also do here is you can add your success message right here. And then once you're done with that, all you need to do is to uh, save this. So let's do a quick preview so you can see what this looks like. Right, so pretty much that's what it looks like. Very simple form. So I'm going to close this and then I'm going to come over here to opt-in forms. Now to add the form onto your landing page, you need to come over here and click on these brackets here. Okay, so this is where you get to generate your shortcode. So I'm going to click on it and this is the shortcode that I need. So I'm going to copy this like that, come back to my website, and now it's time to add our text module. So I'm gonna click this plus button here, search for my text module, select it, and then I'm gonna paste my shortcode in here. So this shortcode will now display the form. So I'm gonna save this for now, and now you can see that our form is now showing. So straight away we can see that this looks quite big, so let's go in and fix that. So I'm going to come over here to my module settings, click on design, and I'm going to come over here on spacing. Oh, in fact, I need to come to sizing, and then I can just adjust my width. Okay, center it. So this is where you can just take a look and see what works uh, with your design. But in my case, since my top text um, module is about 80% on the width, it's ideal that this has to be 80% too. Right, so now that we have all this in place, I'm gonna go ahead now and save. Right, so just to do the final touches, you may want to add a bit of padding here to the bottom just to give the, uh, the opt-in form a bit of breathing space, like that. So pretty much this is our landing page. Before we finalize this, it's very important that uh, you remove the header and the footer section of this page because this is meant to be a landing page. Ideally, you don't want to be distracting people that come to your landing page. Right, so I'm going to come over here to my expand settings. Click on publish. Okay, so now that it's published and saved, I'm going to exit the visual builder. Okay, so that's looking good. Right, so I'm gonna come over here to edit page. So I'm gonna go in, and to remove your header and footer section of your page, all you have to do is to come over here to your template area on your page attributes, click on that and select blank page. And then click update.
So now when we take a look at our page, you can see there's no header and there's no footer. So that does it for this video. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. By subscribing, you'll be notified every time I release a new video. Thanks a lot for watching and see you soon.